All right, guys. So this is another fan fiction idea, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do another uh, adaptation of a classic Marvel or a, Mo a Marvel comic event, and that is, as you can see, Secret Wars. So let's get started with this event. So Secret Wars is basically um, kind of a sequel end to Pen Zero Part Time Hero, where Phyllis, aka Phil and Phil of uh, Phyllis and Phil, the good and evil aspects of the. Uh, you know the balance, uh, the being that created balance throughout the multiverse, is basically li like, yeah, I'm, um, I'm doing pretty good. My experiment did pretty well, um, and the multiverse is in balance. Everything is hunky dory, but unfortunately, what happens is that someone didn't like that idea. Like, so, uh, like basically, this whole thing of like creating balance and good and evil. Yeah, someone was bothered by that. Someone was profoundly bothered by that idea, and that someone was Bill Cipher. And Bill comes up and is like, Phyllis, 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 buddy, uh, um, your thing's bullshit. You, like, it's all, it's really bullshit when you ask me. Like, you literally tipped the balance, you literally were tipping the balance every chance you had. There was no way good wasn't gonna come out on top. You base, you were stacking the cards on your end. Like, there was, like, even a part, even the, evil side of you was inwardly working on that. How can you really say that? Like, how can you really say that good is, you know, multiversal? So Phyllis is like, hmm, interesting. Are you trying to say something, you know, Bill? And he's like, oh yeah, I so, I, I so am. Listen, I got a good idea and you're gonna, and your watcher friends are gonna love it. Um, how about you and me have a little contest here? Um, let's have, let's play a game. Just you, you know, you and me. And we'll pick the fighters, but you and me are going to use our combined power to create a new world. So, it, and he's like, and what if I win? You know, what, what are the terms of the agreement? And he's like, oh, it's like, Bill's like, oh, it's simple. If you win, you get to, you get to, you know, wave your cosmic dick around and say like, oh, good is forever. Good is triumphant no matter what. If I win, however, if I'm the winner of this little game, then um, you let uh, you let me let my weird Megan not just go through this or you know the Earth I'm from, but all the of the or all the multiverse. So what's it go uh, you know? Do we have a deal? And Phyllis thinks for a second and is like, "All right, I trust the people I'm gonna pick," and he's like, "So do so am I." So. Phil and Phyllis use their combined power to create Battle World, and it's like basically all these little like stri like formed strips of different Earths that are familiar. That it's like f f facsimiles of landscapes of the worlds each of the combatants are from. And then um, after they use that power, Phil and Phyllis have three days to assemble their um, their par their little uh, their pieces. So Phyllis goes to goes of course to Pen, Sashi, and Boone first and foremost, and is like, "Hey, listen, um, I'm gonna need your help again. I um, I kind of got us into a cosmic uh, faux pas, shall we say? And I'm gonna need all the help I can get. So um, pack your bags. You're my first few chosen. Um, and and Pen is just like, awesome. I you know I was missing this. I was missing all of this. And Sashi's like. Wherever he goes, I go. So, you know, someone's got to keep his ass alive. And someone's got to keep my boyfriend's ass alive. So who else do you have, like, who else do you have in mind? Um, so Phyllis takes the three of them. And from there, they go from Earth to, Earth, you know, universe to universe. They get Star and Marco. They get, um, they get Dipper and Mabel and Stan. All the Gravity Falls gang. They get uh, Anne, Sasha, and, you know... And Sasha and Marcy as well, and they also pick up uh, Sprig, Polly, and, and Hot Pop, and it's a joyful reunion for the girls because this is after the show, and they're just like, oh my god, you know, it's so good. And they even like they even, like Sasha even says, Sasha and Marcy ask, can you? There's a few other people, can you bring with us? And they bring Grime, you know, Phyllis grabs Grimes as well as they grab um, Union and and Olivia. So that's, you know, the amphibian crew is all back together. They also go to other, they go to uh, the world of DuckTales. They pick up Darkwing Duck. They pick up, um, they pick up uh, Gizmo Duck, Scrooge McDuck, and of course, Webby and the, and the triplets, as well as Launchpad. 
So all that is they pick up them, but it's not just the Disney universes they're going to to pick up people. They're even go like Phyllis says, if we're going to win this, then we're going to need some some real firepower. So from there they go to other Earths too. Like Phyllis says, like you weren't, you know, you guys weren't the only universes that I kept my eyes on. Basically, she says, like, look, there were other, uh, like, your you, your little multiverse is a cluster, so it's easier to, fo you know, to gather all you guys up because you got your you, your little you part of the of the multiverse. It, all those worlds are connected. All those Earths are connected, and what that Earth is connected to all of you. So it was easy to grab you in the, from the Earths you're from. So I mean, and the worlds you're from. But now we got to go to other worlds, and some of them aren't really nice. So from there, Phyllis grabs, like, other beings from outside of the Disney universe, shall we say. I'm talking, like, she grabs, um, uh, she grabs the, um, the Lagoon Company. And when you're thinking the Lagoon Company, they're on the side of heroes. Phyllis did say that we kind of need some unscrupulous characters. So they grab the Lagoon Company, and they also grab, um, the, the crew from the Bebop. They grab also, um... They also go to the Dragon Ball Z universe. They pick up, um, they pick up the Z fighters. They pick, they uh, basically grab like a whole army of characters. Meanwhile, Bill's doing the same thing. He has picked up Toffee. He's picked up Lord Dominator. He's picked up, you know, Frieza. He's picked up um, the twin, uh, the Hansel and Gretel. He's picked up ever like he's picked up his own share of horrendous villains in his own right. So from there, once that all the like the armies of good and evil are basically the battle lines are set, Phyllis and Bill set you know basically set up the ground rules and are like, all right guys, you're fighting for good and evil uh, to see who wins in the, in the end, like who's gonna come out on top in this um, in this match between good and evil, and it come becomes a whole ass fight. It becomes a full on knock down drag out fight between all between all the groups like you have like lord dominator trying to fight goku failing miserably um you have um star taking on like you have you have basically um and uh, um and taking on frieza head on with all of her calamity powers activated um and even uh, like even frieza has this moment of there can't be more monkeys out in the world. There's no way you... Like, how many universes has those blue-haired monkeys around? And they fight. You have also, like... Um, it's just all-out war. They even... Like, the other thing is, too... Um, Phyllis also picked up and grabbed... Um, and, and grabbed some other... Uh, grabbed also the crew from Has-Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss... And as well as Bill grabbed like Striker, he grabbed, um, he grabbed Vox, he and he grabbed like they're all like picking and choosing. Now, uh, so as the war continues, like everyone kind of had like Alistair is kind of like the Magneto of this because everyone's like I don't know if we can trust him, so he's kind of like the neutral party. But yeah, so the so the war just kind of reaches like a spiraling point between everyone because it's all just all out war. It's every per it's every hero and villain for themselves because the um, it's just nuts and it goes on for months until finally what happens is that they like the heroes more or less um, decide like the game's over like the heroes and villains like is su uh, like suddenly go like time out why are we doing this like are we just pawns for gods and Bill is like oh shit they figured it out and phyllis is like well it's kind of it, like it is to test to see if you know mankind you know if the multiverse should be ruled by good or evil yeah and and, Bill, and pen goes you more than anyone should know that 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 should be our decision like that should be our choice so and the villains are like yeah why are we doing this we're not getting anything out of you know the only thing we're getting is that evil rule like evil rules the universe i mean cool but like Who's, who's going to rule? Is it going to be Bill? Because it seems like it's going to be Bill. So they do something that in the original Secret Wars didn't think of. They stop playing the game. And nobody wins. So Phyllis and Bill are like, well, shit. I, 
I guess the game's over. And secretly, Phyllis is like, I knew Be a Pen would be the one to make that choice. So, the game is over, the Secret Wars come to an end, and everyone goes back to their universe, and just like, you know, whatever happens, we decide. It's not these gods that make these choices, it's us who make the choices of who's good and evil. So there you go. Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of this version of Secret, of Secret Wars? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse, I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.